Okay, and namaste. I'm Zay with Exude Yoga, and today we're going to be doing an aura brightening yoga flow to help you find your glow. Now, I know it's been a little while. I've been taking some personal time to rejuvenate and to rest, and I'm so grateful for y'all's patience. So if you like this flow, let us know what you like down below, and always feel free to leave us a tip or a donation. Let's get into the flow. Start this practice with a minute of meditation and deep breathing. Coming into an easy seat of your choice, you can come into this easy seat or sit on the back of the heels. You can also bring the thumbs and the index finger together, placing them on top of the knees. Taking deep inhales through the nose. Taking deep exhales out of the nose or out of the mouth allowing each breath to be intentional. Now when you're ready, you can keep the eyes closed, focusing in between the eyebrows, gripping on to the shins or the knees, whatever feels comfortable to you. Drawing the shoulders back, chest forward, bringing the crown towards the back of the mat. Exhale, tucking the hips and the chin forward. Doing this a few times at your own pace, allowing the body to follow the breath. Last one. Slowly and gently rolling the body back up. Extending the legs out in front of you. Windshield wipe the knees from left to right. Opening up the side of the spine. Even feeling the stretch in the shoulders. And coming into an easy seat, we're gonna bring the feet together, coming into a butterfly. Interlacing the fingers, bringing the thumbs on top of the big toes, and moving the heels closer towards the pelvic area. Drawing the shoulders back, extending the crown upward, and breathing with each exhale, allowing the knees to gradually float closer towards the mat. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, we're gonna slowly tuck the chin into the chest and curl the hips forward. Bringing the crown closer towards the toes. You can tuck the elbows into the hips near the hip flexors. And breathing into the spine. You may feel the energy moving from the base all the way to the top of the head. Allowing yourself to be here. When you're ready, slowly and gradually rolling the body back up, sending the chest forward and the crown back. And exhale, coming back into a neutral spine. All right, so let's come onto the long side of our mat, extending the legs out in front of us. You can windshield wipe the knees once more from left to right. And from here, let's scoot the hips back, coming into a C, extending the legs out in front, flexing the toes back as well. We're going to cross, bringing the right leg over the left, stacking the right knee on top of the left knee, flexing the left toes back, being very, very gentle with yourself here. Not coming into a full fold, but just relaxing wherever your body is telling you to. Being very, very gentle. Exhale, slowly beginning to move the hands forward towards the feet. You can tuck the chin into the chest or you can remain looking forward. Feeling the stretch in the tendons behind the left knee. A few more breaths. Inhale, slowly rolling the body back up, sending the right leg out in front of you. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, bringing the left leg over the right, stacking the right, the left knee on top of the right knee. Flexing the right toes back and gently beginning to walk the hands towards the right foot, either tucking the chin into the chest or resting here. With each exhale, slowly and gradually bringing the top of the head forward towards the toes. Maybe you're feeling yourself beginning to shake. This is an indicator that the work is being done. For a few more breaths. Inhale, walking the hands up, rolling the body up. Sending the left leg out in front of you and windshield wiping the knees. Yes, oh, that felt so good. Okay, so we're going to do a spinal twist. Extending the left leg out in front, let's scoot the hips back. So, I know, you know, some people prefer to cross the right foot over the left leg, but I actually prefer just to keep 
the right foot on the right side of the leg for this asana. It helps me keep my posture. So if you prefer this, this is a good method. So from here, we're going to bring the right arm behind us. The left arm comes to the outside of the left knee. As you press and twist, opening up the left palm, pressing the back of the hands backwards towards the left foot, extending upward, For a few more breaths. One deep inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center. Bring the right leg forward. Do the same thing on the other side. The left leg comes to, the left foot comes to the outside of the right leg. Tucking the left knee in, flexing the right toes back. We're gonna take the left hand, bring it behind us. The right arm comes onto the outside or the top of the left knee. As you press and twist, keeping your posture, maybe readjusting however you feel comfortable. for a few more breaths. And inhale, slowly coming back to center. Extending the left leg out in front of you, windshield wiping the knees from left to right. All right. Coming on to our backs. While here, bringing the toes outward, and just resting in Shavasana for a few moments, opening up the palms, readjusting the head so the spine is completely flat on the mat, and just being here, being present with your surroundings, being present with self. Ready. We're going to slowly inhale and tuck the knees into the chest. Creating a flat spine by pressing the hips into the mat, flexing the toes back, drawing the shoulders back as well. Also rock from left to right, open up the hip flexors. When you're ready, grabbing onto the outsides of the feet, coming into happy baby, bringing the elbows to the insides of the knees, flexing the toes back, and with each exhale, pressing the knees closer towards the armpits. The hips begin to sink towards the mat. And while here, you can also rock from left to right as well.
pulling on the bottoms of the feet a bit more. Exhale, bringing the bottoms of the feet together and beginning to bring them underneath the hips and lowering them. Resting here. Keeping the feet together, you're gonna press into the sides of the feet and lift the hips slightly. Resting here for a few breaths. Lift some more. A little bit more. And exhale, release. Windshield wiping the knees from left to right. Coming back onto our backs, we're gonna bring the right foot to the outside of the left knee, rocking onto the left side of the body, extending the right arm out, looking over the right shoulder. You can rest the left arm on top of the right leg. Breathing into the outside of the right thigh. And resting here. space within your foundation, taking the moments to yourself here, to be, to acknowledge your existence, to honor your existence. Inhale, slowly bringing the right arm over the body, stacking the knees, and resting on the hands. Taking a few moments to yourself, for yourself. Inhale, coming back onto our backs. Doing the same thing on the other side. Bringing the left foot to the outside of the right thigh, or the right knee, rocking on to your right side. Extending the left arm out, looking over the left shoulder. Allowing the right knee to rest on top of the left ankle. And resting the right arm on top of the left thigh.
next inhale, slowly beginning to bring the left arm over the body. Rocking onto your right side, stacking the knees, resting on the hands. And taking a few moments to be here with your body, with your breath, with this space. Press the left palm into the surface. Begin to wake and walk the body up. Let's move out the shoulders, coming into a comfortable seat. Rolling the shoulders backwards. Moving them forward. Rotating the, the neck, the top of the head. And rotating in the other direction. to neutral spine, maybe rotating the wrists. And rotating in the other direction. Exhale, release, folding over the knees and swaying from left to right. Maybe moving out the shoulders in a serpent-like motion. Reverse. And inhale, slowly rolling back into a neutral spine. For the next five to 10 minutes, you can flow however you would like. I'm gonna leave a suggestion right here so you can pause the video and continue your flow. Now when you're ready, let's come into a nice, comfortable, easy seat. You can sit on the back of the heels or come into a cross-leg position. Loosening the jaw, loosening the tongue, allowing the shoulders to fall, aligning the spine, taking deep inhales and exhales in and out of the nose. together towards the heart space. Focusing the gaze in between the eyebrows. Noticing your light getting brighter, your aura becoming stronger. Thank you for showing up in this space and allowing me to guide you through this flow. I hope you're feeling brighter and lighter. Until next time, namaste.